Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Yeah, today I brought before you a wonderful scholarship opportunity going on down there in Denmark. Um, the University of Southern Denmark in collaboration with the Danish government just announced a fully funded juicy scholarship for international students. If you're from Africa, if you're from Nigeria, anywhere you are from Africa, don't worry, you are fully, fully eligible for this scholarship. So I'm going to show you now the step-by-step -step process, everything you need to know about the scholarship, how you how you can apply for it. And yeah, so yeah, sit tight and then let me take you on the ride. Remember, it's a good life. Make it really, really count. Yeah, let's go. Um, guys, um, like I explained before now, um, this scholarship is Danish government scholarship but then the Danish government is working in collaboration with the University of Southern Denmark to offer this scholarship to international students um, you can see here the worth of the scholarship is uh, actually to cover a cost amounting to 3000 per month I don't know how they call DKK Danish something yeah but this is actually um, a sufficient amount for international students and of course with a full tuition fee waiver so this is really fully funded and very very juicy right so who can get the scholarship for as long as you are not from the eu or eea you are a fully eligible um, if you're from nigeria anywhere in africa consider yourself eligible for this master's program so um, the, the, the scholarship is only open to people who are applying in any of these two programs, master's level in engineering, that is mechatronics, and that of um, um, electronics in the University of Southern Denmark. And the good news is that this scholarship is considered by merit, right? You don't have to apply or submit um, a, a different application for it as common with other popular scholarship so this you need no separate application as you can see it boldly written there so you just apply and then the admissions commission the admissions committee considers they consider the the applicant and then on their own the criteria they, they now determine who they who and who they award the scholarship to you can have a sneak peek into the criteria for selection um, they say the best qualified candidates based on the grade point average of the bachelor's degree. Um, yes, so at this point, I know people who don't have first class may think, oh, so what am I going to do? But the truth is this, um, yes, I'm sure um, sometimes two first class students apply for a scholarship and then one of them get, the other one doesn't get. So so what, what it means is that you don't have to be afraid or worried about you don't have first class, you only have second class or and all that. The truth is that yet yeah, grade, your grade will play an important role in this, in your selection. But of course, how you package your application, you know, how you write your motivation letter, your SOP, as the case may be in this, yeah, it is very, very important. It's very, very important. So, and your CV as well. So, yeah. So you, what they need, basically, which of those things you are also going to submit when you're applying for admission um, uh, in any of those listed, um, sorry about that, listed um, programs in your bachelor's transcripts, very important. Um, must either be in English, Danish, Swedish, or Norwegian. Uh, and then, um, of course, every transcript should have the description of the courses and the units and the credits for each course. And then you need. Um, Proof of English language proficiency, your IELTS or your TOEFL. Uh, I would say if you don't have this particular document, it is important you write to the admissions committee, find contact somewhere, and then you write an inquire and let them know that though you don't have this for as long, let's say you're from Nigeria, you don't have this, but you, you've been taught in English, um, and then request them if it's possible for you to submit a B a. A proficiency letter from your university showing that you are taught in English this probably will also slide so if you don't have this document don't just fold your hands and say I don't qualify it doesn't work that way sometimes you can you can make a push and then you see the door will get opened for you yeah so you have until 1st of February February um, to apply if you want to be considered for this scholarship so it's very important you 
you you apply as soon as possible how do you now apply very simple like i said before now uh, you apply to any of these programs and then you'll be considered so let's say you are interested in mechatronics so you click on this link i will share every link to the scholarship um, on, on in the description check it check it out you'll see the links to this scholarship and the link of course how you can navigate the, in, um, the web page you can see this program mechatronics engineering masters of science and yeah so you if you go down the page you will see um um you can see um academic proof um sorry this is not what we want to look for this is not what we're interested in okay yeah, you can see the program maybe you you want to understand better what they're doing in the program maybe to make your choice you can go through that but here you can see tuition language is, is english and um, admission how you can apply you go see how to apply and then you probably um, read more and then video guide submitting your application this is really wonderful you know that they have something like this here and you can now go to application portal you click on it and then bear in mind there are some documents you need to submit so you you go you you kind of um, you check out everything on the website it's not really difficult of this video so just very simple how to apply for it and um, um, you can also somewhere here you can also join our online question and answer on our admissions which is really so so nice so you can send them a message via SOPC here to make some inquiries if you get confused along the line yeah so guys this is all about um, the SDU scholarship sponsored by the Danish government I really wish you the best please don't hesitate if you have any question drop it in the comment section or you can find my email in my channel and write me an email in case you need any assistance I wish you all the best and um, remember it's a good life and um, please make it really 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 count yeah see you next time